Here's some mahogany that I cut yesterday. Now I'm only, I'm basically only cutting, cutting the thickness. I'm not worrying about this distance because this is going to be cut on the lumber mill to get an exact distance here. Because these are all going to be joists. So this surface doesn't really matter, but I need, I need exact measurements there and there. So I'll do those cuts on the lumber mill. And these are some boards I did uh, like last week. You can see they get a lot darker, more reddish brown after you cut them and they're out for a few days. All right, I'm out here cutting wood for my second floor. Oh, camera's getting a little fogged up. It started raining. Anyway, there's a lot of different ways I can do this. I'd kind of like to take these logs out of here right to my lumber mill and cut them all there, which would mean either rolling them or putting them on wheels and carting them out of here. But I'm about 300 meters from the boat and there's no smooth path to get out of here yet. I, I want to have one eventually, but right now I don't and I really want to get this floor up. Uh, so I'm doing it the way I can do it right now, which is to take my chainsaw and cut these. This is, uh, this is mahogany, otherwise known as Mayo Rojo around here. Anyway, take my chainsaw and just cut this into slabs, into slices, and then take the slabs to my lumber mill and then, you know, cut the, cut the widths there. So like say I'm trying to make a two by six, I'll cut the twos here, take it to my lumber mill, cut the sixes there. Cause the, if I'm, if I'm cutting joists, I really want the, the six dimension to be accurate. The two dimension doesn't have to be perfect. So I can chainsaw that. And the same with floorboards, you know, the, the top and bottom surface of, of the floorboards, um, they're not super important right away but the, the sides where the floorboards are sitting up next to each other, I want those to be straight. So I'll cut those on the lumber mill too. And then, you know, once, once I get them over there, I might run them all, not the joists, but the floorboards, I might run them all through a planer or lay them all down, then use like a, like a hand power planer to just go over the whole floor. But anyway, I'll worry about that later. Right now, I want to cut this into slabs. There is a problem though, if I just cut this into slices, I'll get a couple good slices and then all the middle ones will split. Because the way this wood works, uh, it like, it always wants to bend away from the center. So if I cut, a, if I cut some slabs off over here, they'll, they'll kind of warp this way a little bit. But as I get more toward the center, the top part and the bottom part will be trying to warp away from each other so I'll end up with split ends. So to avoid that I'm just going to cut this right down the middle, lay the pieces down and then cut the slices and um, you know I won't get as big boards then but I won't have some crooked curve going right through the middle I'll have a, at least I'll have a straight cut going through the middle so that's that's what I did over here. So these guys are all basically you know half the half the log. Man, I did a good job on that. Whew, look at those. Man, I'm getting really good. <laughs> it's just amazing how fast you can learn a skill like this. Humans are cool. Humans are super cool. Ah, I love humans. Well, I don't, I don't love when they're not meeting their potential, but like, it's a, the, the potential humans have is so awesome. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this in half. Oh, and I obviously rolled the log until I found a crack that's going vertical. So I'll basically cut right along that crack to get rid of it. And then there's another crack going around here, but hopefully that doesn't run very, very deep through the wood. Uh, to get my straight lines, like a lot of people use a chalk line for this. I'm just using a previous board that I cut that is pretty darn straight. And I'll just lay it there and you know, just run the chainsaw along the side of it. Of course, now you're gonna be like, well, how do you get the first board cut? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I just eyeball it, keep checking it, and trying to try to get it get it really straight. Um, but yeah, once you get a straight one, I mean, the other thing is I could just bring a string and some. Anyway, I'm just gonna shut up. I gotta get get this going, man. <laughs>
I'm gonna measure one and three quarter, yeah, one and three quarter noodle units. And that way I'll end up with a true one and a half. Now when I do, <laughs> when I do a cut down the length of something, um, the first cut I'll do, I'll look down the chainsaw blade, you know, the, the chainsaw bar, and also look through the cut I've already done and make sure they're, like if my eye is lined up with the cut I've already done and it's also lined up with the chainsaw, that means they're parallel, so I can cut straight the whole way down. But then once I have a side that's flat, I'll keep my eye looking along the edge of here, and then I know the distance between there and there, and I'll move over a tiny bit, make sure the chain bar is lined up with my eye, and I'll just keep going back and forth like that. And as long as I can see down a flat edge here, it's really easy to uh, keep the line parallel to that. Well, maybe I shouldn't say really easy, but I mean, it's, it's tedious because you have, you have to pay attention. Although once you, once you kind of get used to it, you know, just holding the chainsaw the same way the whole time, uh, it kind of defaults to pretty much the right position anyway. So it's not like you're wandering off. So you don't have to pay attention as much. I don't know, just get into a rhythm and do it. All right, I'm going to do it. All right, a couple of chainsaw safety tips. Make sure you're alert when you're chainsawing, like doing anything like this, you gotta be alert. If you start getting too worn out that you can't pay attention, that's the time to stop. The other thing specific to chainsaws is whenever I move my feet, I stop the chainsaw. So as I'm walking backwards, I'll do my cut and I'll stop the chainsaw for a second, then move my feet once I'm planted. I mean, it only takes like half a second, then I can start cutting again, you know? But always make sure when your chain is moving, your feet are on solid ground. Although definitely don't take this as a chainsaw safety video. It's like, do, do the chainsaw safety stuff you're supposed to do. Go, yeah. Hey, it's gone. 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 Right. <laughs> hey here's all my boards from that half. Right here, looking good. Let's go do the other half. Same thing. Yeah, great. What do you think, dog?